What's up guys, Jesus Quesadilla here. Welcome to my Let's Play of Grand Theft Auto Vice City on the PlayStation 2. So today we're going to unlock Prawn Island, which is the next extension of the map on Vice City. We're going to drive on over there now and wait for a phone call from Ricardo Diaz, which will open up the island so that we can go take missions from him. Alright, so here we are at the gate. Now, for most of the game, this gate is locked. From the beginning of the game, it's locked. And it's not until completing Guardian Angels, the last mission, that we actually get to go through it. I hear that prick on set. He said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Alright, so we're going to be working with Diaz. You saw there that the gates open, so we now have access to another part of the map, which is pretty nifty because it'll open up hidden packages and things like that for us. We are working with Diaz because he, as a person who's connected with Cortez, probably has some idea as to who it is that took our drugs at the beginning of the game. And so through working with him, we're not only going to earn some money, actually a good deal amount of money, because he pays rather well for all of the following missions in his string. But we're also going to get closer to figuring out who it was exactly who jumped, who jumped our drug deal. Who is this dickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me, I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse. You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up. Me. Some Love it. <laughs> he thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. All right, so we're going to slow down a little bit in this mission from... mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is going to be easy. <laughs> Love that line, too. Anyway, as I was saying, in this mission, we're going to be slowing down a little bit from all the action in the prior missions. We're only going to be trailing this guy who Diaz wants us to sort of hunt down for him. I'm actually going to go ahead and skip it. Whoa, be careful there, buddy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to where he's located on the map. You can just follow the dot on your radar, and it'll take you right to him. So I'll see you there momentarily. Alright, so we're pulling up to his apartment right now, and we're going to go ahead and peek through his window. By the way, just as an, a side note, I personally think that V-Rock is the best station in this game. Feel free to leave a comment below, let me know what radio station the game is your favorite. I think they're all pretty great, except for the one, um, I think it's Esperantoso. That one, I'm not a big fan of, but otherwise the game has a pretty impeccable soundtrack. Anyway, getting back to the gameplay, so we're chasing this guy across the rooftop. Be very careful, you want to keep up with him because there's going to come to this point right here where there are those exploding red barrels. If he gets too far ahead of you, he will shoot at them and blow them up and that'll make it a little more difficult to pursue him. Luckily, I was close enough so that didn't happen. And now he's going to get away in this uh, off-road vehicle here. The game gives you a little scooter bike to give chase on to him with. Luckily, he doesn't drive that fa that fast, so keeping up with him on this bike is actually pretty ideal. You won't want to go that fast because the closer you get, he'll actually sh Oh, he popped my tire. Well, okay, what you want to do is keep your distance from him. We're going to be trailing him for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here. And we'll resume when we get to his hideout. Da -na 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 -na. I really love the V-Rock station in this game, I just have to say that again. 
Anyway, so we followed him here to his hideout. I went ahead and sped up the video, like I said, so that uh, we wouldn't have to sit through kind of a boring part of that mission, which is just following him around all around Vice City. You ultimately get led here, so we now know where his hideout is, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward to Diaz and report back to him. I like driving on the wrong side of the road and running people over. Hey, the guy, watch out. All right, so we're back here at Diaz's mansion. Well, we were. We're going to pull in a little more carefully into Diaz's mansion, and we're going to go to the second mission that he offers, which we're going to go back and deal with the guy who we chased down to his hideout earlier. Uh, for this mission, uh, be kind of wary that you will be doing a on-rails shooter segment. What that means basically is that you will have no control over the vehicle that's going to be driven for you. We're going to fly in on what helicopter, kind of and there's going to be another guy fools? driving for us. Fools! We are simply going to operate a gun turret and be shooting at people down Tommy. below. What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? That was a nice face. Me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? I already beat you there. The gang places a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here. Quentin! Quentin! Quentin? They'll fly you over the area. The yeah. Um, I get the feeling we've doing? met this guy before. So, basically, Lance Vance found his way into working with Diaz as well. And so, it's somewhat revealed at this point that Diaz is the one who was masterminding the drug deal gone wrong at the beginning of the game. So, we now have a pretty good idea that Diaz is the one we're looking for. But we're going to continue working with him anyway to get a little closer to him so that it's easier to take him out, ultimately. So this is that on-rails segment I was talking about. Lance is going to be flying around. And if this is your first time playing the game, be ready to possibly fail this mission. At least I did when I first played this game. This is the mission that gave me the most trouble, getting used to the flight mechanics and the mechanics of actually shooting the gun from a flying helicopter. So this is probably the biggest difficulty leap we've made so far. The other thing about this is, as you noticed, uh, we have a helicopter health bar. If that reaches zero, we blow up and the mission ends in failure, so keep an eye on that. Coming up here, there are going to be a bunch of guys stationed on rooftops and on the ground that we have to take out before landing, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to fast forward this segment so that you don't have to sit through it because it's kind of long. Anyway, so as you can see, that's what we're doing here, so I'll rejoin you when we land on the ground momentarily. Okay, so these are the last group of guys we have to take out before being able to land. Keep in mind that, that the, the guy it showed in the cutscene yelling at us has a more powerful rifle than any of the other enemies we've encountered, so you want to take him out first. Otherwise, he will take your helicopter down in a hurry. So we managed to complete that segment successfully. From here on out, it's pretty easy. There are a few people left hidden in this building. You can stand outside the doorway like I'm doing right now and just shoot them from the safety of being behind the doorway. It looks like there's maybe one or two guys left up there that I can't quite reach, so I'm just going to go ahead and run up and face them. And now's a good chance to actually stock up on ammo if you find yourself either strapped for cash or if you just want to collect the ammo. And, well, there's usually a guy here, but I guess in this case we took him out. And now that we've got this briefcase, we can be picked up by Lance again, and that should complete the mission for us.
Uh, another important thing to note, now that we've completed this mission, we once again unlock the last part of the map, which is the downtown area. It's one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. We're getting into some really um, heavy story-driven stuff here soon. So, with that, uh, you can see there it says the storm warning is over, and we've now unlocked the entire map for use. So, thank you for joining me, guys. I'll see you in my next episode. Peace.